Yo, what's going on guys? Airsoft Steeny here back with another video. So today we're actually going to be doing a little quick hit review on the Novridge Cruise Otter ghillie jacket, as well as the ASU pants from Novridge with the built-in knee pads here. Also in a Cruise Otter pattern, same pattern as the ghillie jacket. So before we go ahead and field test this, um, right now it is like kind of middle of spring and I was out playing two weeks ago and there was literally zero green on the ground. We got a lot of rain so now it is super green. So I was kind of hesitant to actually review this a couple weeks ago because I was like, you know, this is gonna stand out like crazy because there are green patterns on here which we're gonna show you in a little bit here. So going over the build quality a little bit here, I actually also own a Novridge uh, Everglade ghillie jacket. So it's literally the exact same as this, just a different pattern. And I will say that the build quality is absolutely amazing. I did actually end up giving the Everglade Novridge suit to my brother who's first time ever playing airsoft and we played at a milsim. It was a two day long milsim just out of town about two hours away and he absolutely crushed it. He ran up at least like 40 confirmed takedowns and he was in a lightly crafted Everglade uh, Novridge suit that uh, was used probably like around in the middle of summer. So um, they are very effective. The build quality is absolutely amazing. So again, if you guys are looking into a Novridge um, ghillie jacket or the shoulder ghillie, you've probably done a little bit of research or know just like the general build quality of these. Like again, I've done this with the other one, but I'm gonna try to tear this apart. Oh, that's the hardest that I could pull and it's not ripping at all. Um, so build quality definitely checks out. Um, I will say that on the collar of the hood, there are a series of buttons that are spaced out on the collar. This actually allows you to add the Novridge hood. So if you want the ghillie hood, um, you can go ahead and do that. They also sell sniper boonies as well. Um, so you can just match up the colors and um, craft everything up if you want, you don't have to. And away you go, which is really nice. There are also a series of buttons that run down the entire middle of the suit. So you can totally unbutton the whole suit stretch it out and put it on. I like to unbutton it to about the three quarter mark and then I will just slip the entire suit over top. So I only have like a couple buttons to button up to actually enclose the ghillie suit. That might be rubbing up against my mic. All right, so now the ghillie is on and I'm gonna button this up here. So again, there's only a few buttons. Sorry, my hair is absolutely whacked out. I was just uh, playing a little pickup game out here. So I have my belt club on. So of course my hair is just absolutely crazy right now. I usually like to go all the way up personally. Um, you don't have to though. You can always leave this one just unbuttoned if you want, but I like that it kind of conceals more of my neck a little bit and it protects me from neck shots, which is really nice. Okay, so first thing that I noticed when I put on these ghillie jackets is obviously my hands. I'm looking at my hands the first thing I'm looking at. Now there are these little kind of elastic bands that separate into a T and basically what this allows you to do is when you toss on your gloves and i love this feature so smart honestly this like the, the design on these ghillies is actually like is really good really solid really good quality so when you toss this elastic loop over top of your thumb it's going to actually conceal i would say pretty close to half of your glove here so it just adds a little more concealment helps blend up with your gloves a lot of people don't run oh my god this ticks you fuck that's gross so a lot of people don't actually really run crafted gloves so if you don't this is a really nice uh feature to have there are elastic loops literally lit littered throughout the entire ghillie suit so what you can do is actually stuff your natural vegetation. We don't have a lot of natural veg out here yet, so I actually can't really show you guys. Like it's literally all twigs and branches and stuff, but um, you can literally shove natural veg, whether it's like tall grass and stuff, just shove it in a loop. And usually it'll last you about like half of a pickup game and then it tends to like fall out. Depending on how much you crawl, not all the time. Like if you're mostly crouching and stuff, your natural veg isn't gonna go anywhere. This is actually the first time that I've ever had uh, like combat pants that have built in knee pads. Usually I would just put the knee pads over top of my knees and it was super annoying because when I'd wear ghillie pants, um, they would always fall off and I'd literally have um, a knee pad sitting down on my shin. Super, super annoying. I did play about three pickup games, th three 30 to 45 minute games last weekend um, with these pants just to test them out before I actually reviewed them. Absolutely freaking love them. Like this is like absolutely game changer for me because you know, once you fully adjust these pants and I'll show you guys how you adjust them. So there's a pocket right here, you open it up and then there is a small elastic loop here. So you can actually pull on this loop and it will pull the whole knee pad higher up to you. And then when you loosen this loop, it'll push it back down. 
So you have to play around with it a little bit, but once you find the perfect setting where when you put your knees to the ground and crouch, they should be like fully enclosing over top of your knees. I have it all set up perfect. I absolutely love it. They're really, really durable too. They actually breathe really well. Now, one thing is that when you are running knee pads, and the thing is like with these is that you don't have to actually run the knee pads in these ASU pants. Um, you can take them out if you really want to, or you can just have one in if you really want. So like one thing that I noticed is that my knees get like super sweaty to the point where like, it's almost like, almost hurts like it sweats so much that like my knees tend to like almost chafe a little bit um this is again like very normal for running knee pads it's the one thing i liked about having knee pads that went over top of my pants is that i could literally just rip them off in two seconds and um, like when i'm just chilling at like a staging area or whatever but the issue with having them inside of your uh, pants is your knees tend to get really sweaty. So when you're even just sitting and chilling out, if it's a really hot day, your knees like, they tend to like chafe a little bit. Um, I guess that's like one downfall for the convenience of just having them in here 24 seven, which is like really nice. Uh, one thing I will say that I have put these through the wash once. I put them through the washing machine and the dryer. Pants did not shrink at all, which is really nice. And I did actually remove the knee pads from the ASU pants, just in case they get wrecked or something happens. Um, I just removed them just cause, um, and I would suggest that you do the same thing. But um, I will say that like none of the colors have faded in the washing machine or the dryer, nothing shrunk. It's literally like brand new. So um, I would say personally that they're probably good to like warm wash or cold wash and then toss in the dryer. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, let's get to the field testing a little bit here too. So basically I don't have my balaclava on right now. I really want you guys to just really look out for um, the Cruise Otter um, jacket as well as the ASU pants. So I'm gonna go and do a little bit of a high test from about maybe 10 feet, 15 feet away from the camera and see how well it blends in. I'm gonna be super, super still and we're gonna see how well this blends in right now. All right guys, so I'm going to lay down right in here so this is like a really solid spot because we have a little bit of sunlight here and a lot of shade so we're gonna see how the cruise otter ghillie reacts to a little bit of shade and lightness so i'm going to lay down here i'm gonna spread out a bit i'm gonna hug up against this um this uh, barricade. Obviously, you know exactly where I laid down, but this is just a really good indicator as to like, you know, how effective this actually is. And these are really nice colors because on the cruise otter, there's a little bit of green, there's some dark browns, medium, light browns, um, some tan, and then a little bit of like straw yellow color. So I think that it actually blends in pretty decently nice, in my opinion. And I just wanna see how well this actually blends here. So I'm just gonna crouch a little bit. I'm trying to hide my head a little bit, guys. All right guys, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will say that this video was sponsored by Novridge. They did send me out this Cruise Otter ghillie jacket as well as the ASU combat pants for free to do a review video on. This is a totally unbiased review. I mean, I'm a pretty decently easy person to please when it comes to uh, airsoft gear. In my opinion, as long as it is quality, it doesn't rip on me, and it's gonna last quite a long time. I mean, that checks out for me. Obviously, it has to work too. My opinion, I think that these colors blend in actually really well, even with an early spring or like a middle of spring to early summer environment, especially out here in the prairies in Canada. Something to take note of as well is that ghillie suits, the color of ghillie suits, all depend on where you live and what your environment looks like. You need to be field testing your suits. Right now, this actually works really well just as a base suit. What I probably would do is add some crafting material to it at some point, but 
for now. I mean, this is just a really solid ghillie suit. It, uh, the quality, the durability checks out and all that good stuff. So if you guys are looking to actually purchase this Cruise Otter um, ghillie jacket, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. If you guys do purchase it, I do get an affiliate kickback. So I do actually make some money, which helps me purchase more gear, get sent more free cool gear to actually review on the channel and use in my gameplay videos, which helps my gameplay videos and elevates them. So if you guys want to support the channel, support me, and you guys want to purchase this ghillie jacket or these ASU combat pants from Novrich, you can click that link down in the description. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.